wrinkles in my shirt. Hey, welcome everyone. We've got a good crowd today for our weekly Blue Jay basketball press conference. I hope you're all having a, a great Tuesday. Uh, we're here to talk about uh, um, last week and this week and everything else related to Blue Jay basketball. So quick recap uh, from last week. Uh, we went 2-0 last week. We beat Truman here at Coakley uh, Tuesday night. Uh, got off to a great start uh, in our game and uh, held on, I think, for a nine-point victory. Uh, and then Friday, we had an exciting game up in uh, St. Joe. We played St. Joe Central, and we did not get off to a good start. Uh, in fact, we were down by 14 points early in the game, 16 to two. Down that, uh, down halftime by 20 points, and then um, came back for an incredible second half and overtime victory up there that was pretty exciting. So we can talk about last week. We can talk about this week too, in which tonight we travel to Park Hill South and play um, the Panthers who are currently undefeated in conference and set atop in first place in our division. And then a big game Friday, uh, our courtwarming game as we host Ruskin, the Ruskin Eagles this Friday. So I will open it up to the floor for questions at this time. Yes, ma'am. Well, I think uh, it was definitely a challenge. Um, first of all, you have to give St. Joe a lot of credit. They came out on fire. They made um, a lot of threes in the first quarter. Uh, one player had three right off, I think. I think he had three threes in the first, you know, 120 seconds of the game, it, felt, it seemed like. Um, and uh, our shots weren't falling. We didn't, uh, uh, they, give them credit. I mean, like I said, they could not miss. And so, uh, we dug ourselves a very big hole, and uh, second quarter didn't get much better, and we found ourselves down down 20, and then um, just uh, you know a little you know challenge for say um, in the second half is is to bounce back, and what are we going to do? We just asked them, you know, hey, we these 16 minutes are going to tell a lot about us, and. And uh, in fact, it's the, 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 going to tell a lot about the rest of the season, too. We needed to win that game up there. And I thought the guys really did uh, a great job of uh, being aggressive, especially defensively. Uh, we hit some shots. Uh, we played very intelligent basketball and outscored them by 15 in the third quarter. So now it's just a five point game going into the, the fourth quarter. And we, you know, we hit some shots and, and uh, Craig Straws hit a big three right in front of our bench to give us our first lead. But then they go back and at their end and they reclaim the lead. And um, we had to hit a little uh, baseline runner uh, with one second to go to send it into overtime. And then um, we ended up uh, knocking down some free throws that we needed to uh, to get the win in overtime. But um, I, I think the main thing that we can take from that game is just um, you know, our defense performance in the second half. I thought uh, our guys really played more aggressively, played much harder. Um, Hal Tyson was uh, uh, very, very active on the defensive end and causing a lot of havoc and deflections and causing turnovers and things like that. And, and that gave us a lot of energy and um, gave our whole team a lot of energy. So we've got to take that from Friday night into a really, really big game tonight against Park Hill South. Yes, other questions? Yes, in the back. With the court warming game coming up on Friday, how do you think that's going to take it to the players? Uh, court warming on Friday, we haven't really thought too much about it quite yet. Uh, we're looking forward to it. You know, it's going to be the last homecoming in, in Coakley, so uh, we, want to, we want to play well, we want to perform well. Um, you know, it'll be a little bit different. We don't have school that day, so. As a coach, I really don't like those days. I like routine and, and some similarity um, that we always have uh, on game days. But, um, you know, um, we played well uh, the first time we played them, and now they come to our place. But we're, uh, they're a good team, so we're going to have to be ready to go. Um, I think we will. Yes? Looking back on this uh, season, what have you learned from this season? What have, what have we learned from this season so far? Um, we're getting better. That's what I like. Um, you know, a, a, a team, you know, we haven't really talked about records much. I'm not big into 
you know, number of wins, number of losses, and, and that I'm very concerned with how we're playing. And I can tell you right now, um, we're playing better than than we did at the beginning of the year, and we knew that would happen. We've got uh, a younger team. Uh, we came into the season uh, fairly inexperienced, so we knew it was going to take some time. But uh, including numbers, you know, we start off one and five, and now we're just one game under 500, and um, setting at nine and ten. So, um, you know, numerically we we look a little bit better, but uh, I could care less about that. Um, we're trying to play uh, this month. Uh, we're trying to get as good as we can because in a little less than a month we need to be at, you know, our best, and that's playoff season. Yes, Craig. Keys to beating Park Hill South, well, we kind of address it already, uh, especially on the defensive end. We have got to be, um, we've got to make them uncomfortable when they shoot the ball. Uh, they've got uh, a couple of bigs that are, that are nice on, on the perimeter, one of them, uh, and in the, on the inside. So we're going to have to play strong and tough uh, in the interior around the paint. They've got some playmakers on the perimeter. Uh, they've got shooters. Um, they're big. Can, we, they have a big that can shoot the ball really, really well, too. Um, and so, uh, you know, on the defensive end, we're going to have to play, uh, once again, aggressive, uh, make them uncomfortable, like I said, uh, and rebound really, really well. And offensively, I think, um, you know, we kind of went over at the end of practice yesterday, uh, everyone's strengths um, and what they can bring to the table. So I think uh, guys have to play to their strengths on the offensive end. And, and when we do that, take care of the basketball. Uh, we're still averaging a few too many turnovers per game. Uh, to my liking, uh, but uh, when we take care of the basketball and play to our strengths individually, we're, uh, we'll be just fine on the offensive end too. So uh, I'm looking for it's going to be a great uh, opportunity, and, and uh, you know it's going to be a big time challenge for us tonight. But what, what, one that we're looking forward to. Yes, Katie. Uh, well, I mean, we want to get, first of all, we got to get a W tonight um, and uh, get a share of the conference lead. Uh, and then, uh, you know, with looking back, looking back to our um, uh, first game against Ruskin and what we're going to have to improve on uh, Friday night for a court warming game, they started off from the perimeter just knocking down shots. Um, now we started in a zone defense, so the chance of us starting in a zone defense on Friday is slim to none. Uh, um, learn from our mistakes. So, uh, you know, we're going to have to uh, recognize the shooters and and uh, and extend out on them because that's what hurt us last time when um, when they uh, when they started the game. And then they're a team that's capable of making some some runs. They they scored the first seven points in the third quarter against us. Fortunately, we had a nine-point lead. We never did relinquish the lead, but we've got to make sure that those runs don't happen like they did last time at the beginning of the game and then again at the third quarter. Good question. Others out there? Yes? Um, well, you know, that's a great question. You know, uh, where have we been? this entire season and, and where are we now? Um, you know, I think uh, uh, what I'm really, really proud of the guys uh, is, uh, um, you know, and one of the things that, that we talk about and one of the things that they see in the locker room all the time is, is, is just our work ethic. Um, we um, ask a lot of our guys. Uh, they, um, you know, 95% of them come in. Uh, 25 minutes before the school day starts and go through agilities and drills and weightlifting. And so uh, they work hard. They work hard before school and in first hour and they also work hard after school. And so um, uh, I've very, been very, very pleased with that. And I think what it, that has done is that's taken, like I said, a group that didn't have a, whole, a team that didn't have a whole lot of experience coming back from last year. And we have uh, you know, through our hard work and, and commitment, and um, I just, I really like the atmosphere of this team, too. Um, we've created something that I'm very proud of so far, and um, that is our, our improvement. Uh, we've beaten some good teams, um, 
and we'll beat some more good teams. Uh, simply the direction this team is, is going. They've stuck together through, um, you know, like I said, we were one in five at one time. And so they've stuck together uh, through some adversity and, um, you know, some challenging practices and, and game situations and kept their chins up and they believed in themselves and believed in their teammates and, and uh, believed in the coaches and what we're trying to do. So uh, when that happens, you're going to see improvement. And I think that's one thing that uh, I'm proud of them for a lot of different things, but I think that's one thing, okay, where, where, are, we, where are we now that I'm most proud of is, is uh, we're playing some better basketball. We're going to need to because this is the most important time of the year. Time for one more question. Yes, sir. That's a that's a great question. You know, what motivates us to, um, if we're not meeting our expectations, both individually, um, our team expectation, you know, what what motivates you? Um, I, you know, I've said this from the very beginning of the season too. I think each one of our individual players and collectively as a team, we have a lot of pride in our work. Um, you know, um, guys aren't guys aren't proud of their work when they don't play to their, expe their own expectations. And um, that's an awesome, that's awesome as a coach um, because when they're not, um, you know, when they're not uh, upset with a, a poor performance, um, they, we, you got to work on some motivational uh, ploys to, to get them going. These guys uh, take, like I said, pride in their work and what they bring to the team. Uh, and that's, I think, what has gotten us, um, you know, through some tougher times of the season, some, some tough practices, some, some tough game situations. And uh, I think that can be evident just in Friday night, like you heard me recap uh, the game up in St. Joe Central. Um, we um, were faced with a, a, certain, a certain situation down 20 at halftime. And, okay, what are we going to do with it? We're not happy with where we're at, okay? We have to be very proud of our performance in, in the next 16 minutes in the second half and then also an additional four in overtime, and you can see what happens. So I think that's a little bit of a microcosm of, this, of the whole season. You know, we didn't get started off very well um, down in Fayetteville at our tournament, um, but we kept plugging along and, and, you know, kept chopping wood, as they say, and kept, you know, getting better and better and better, and here we are. So playing our best basketball of the season so far, I think. Anyway, great questions today. Thank you very much. We're out of time. Um, hope to see you back here next week. Um, so I hope uh, you can make it over to Park Hill South, or if you can't do that, for sure, at Coakley for our court warming game Friday night. Thank you very much.